Hey guys, Dad here. Welcome back to Tomodachi Life. First off, I am so, so sorry it's been so long since the last episode. I've been doing a lot of traveling and haven't been able to capture this footage. But let's get into a bumper episode of Tomodachi Life on Diamond Island. I'm excited. Are you excited? Good. Let's do this. Press start. So we probably have a lot of things to catch up on. The first thing we're going to do, though, is enter the fountain to get our donations. As always, everyone is here looking beautiful. How many are we going to get? 211. Not bad. Imagine if we got the amount for every day that we missed. That would be incredible. We start with 1,800 pounds, which ain't too bad. And we should probably check on the latest me news and see what on earth has been going on. Who's going to say it? It's we're Misty. Yes, we are. Right. A special ceremony was held on the third to reveal a new monument dedicated to MR Incredible. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that! It's Mount Incredible. That's amazing. I'm particularly fond of it for obvious reasons. I'm sure he is. Unveiling MR Incredible joke with the audience saying, "It looks more like me than I do." <laughs> we asked some islanders their opinions. Was that really the end of the story? <laughs> uh, I wasn't listening. Oh, Two-Face Girl, you have two faces and you didn't listen? Come on now. Oh, my goodness. Right, Misty, thank you so much for the news report. There's a new monument in Diamond Island. Uh, it would be amazing if they actually had that monument up here. That would be incredible. Right, let's take a sneaky peek at this. And we've got quite a few problems to sort out. But first... Where are we gonna go? Let's head to, uh, let's go to the park and see what's going on. I think there's a photo shoot happening. There is. Is that SpongeBob? Hey, wait. What? You've got something. Would you let me take some photos of you? Uh, okay. This has happened before. Um, okay. Let's Thanks. do this. You ready? You won't regret it. Give me a duck face. That's the best I can do. <laughs> no, I wasn't ready for that one. That face is perfect. Oh, um, ah. Great, okay, that's enough. No, stop. Stop, Spongebob. You can't take any more pictures of me, you crazy fool. Right, let's see what new interiors there are since we've been away. Game fan. Oh, I like that. That looks so cool. A giant Game Boy. It's 1337. I see what you did there. That's very clever. Um, pet cage. Oh, my goodness. No way. Steampunk, which you already have, and streets. Yo, I am definitely getting the pet cage. That is amazing. And streets, I'm buying that one too. Those are really nice. I like those. We still got these three, which are quite expensive. And all of them are put together. We've got some cool interiors this time. That's good. My favorite shop, Welcome. the hat shop. Let's see what's here. We've got an apple in a new color. We can get a pink apple, a brown apple, or a red one. A leather baseball cap, ain't too bad. And a triangle hair clip. You know what? I'm going to buy one of those because... It actually looks like two kind of pink Doritos stuck together, I guess. Um, we've also got the acorn hat in every single possible color. A beret, a checked hat. We've got every color for these. That's amazing. But you know what? That's all we've got for today. Now, what we need to do is track down Smiley so we can give her the pet cage interior because that is amazing. But first, we need to top up on some food. So we've got some bacalao. Sounds good to me. Let's grab some bacalao. Let's grab two of those. Three of those, even. Chamomile tea, cornflakes, hot chocolate. Oh, man, we need five of those, definitely. And some tomato juice. I mean, why not? Let's grab two of those. Nice. So now that we are stocked up on food and stuff, actually, let's go to clothes because I have a good feeling that there'll be an amazing outfit in today. So we have a cardi and skirt combo, a cycling outfit in many, many colors, a snood. That's actually not too bad. I like that. Uh, stole and leggings combo. Okay, and a toga. The toga is awesome. Right, what outfits have we got? I need to see the outfits. Still got a Bavarian one. I think we've given that to someone already. Um, what else? Bodysuit. Still no more colors of the bodysuit, really? And the hamster costume is still in as well. Lots of great, great costumes. Have we given anyone this yet? It's 100 pounds. I'm not sure if we've given anyone that before, but let's go and check it out and see if we can give anyone any new costumes or anything awesome. Right, Islanders? How's it going, guys? Let's start from the bottom. Now we're here. We've got... Is that Smiley? Smiley's in the Napoleon outfit. Oh, we need to buy someone a um, a hamster outfit so we can get this pet cage sorted out. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where's the hamster costume? There it is. Let's buy one of those and someone else. Because when you give the costume to someone, I didn't realize that they have it even if they don't wear it, which is kind of weird. So let's... Oh, wait. There was an event. What was it? Is that because it's changed to 4 p.m.? Evening market it is. Okay, what do we got? Surprise bags. Oh, no. 
They're from Fake Dan TDM. Not sure how I feel about this. But, um, you know what? Let's try it. Here we go. Let's grab a lucky bag. A fake Dan TDM lucky bag. Here we go. What's inside? First item is... A microchip. What? Do, do, <laughs> is that a treasure? I think that might be a treasure. Also got a... What is it? A, um, a grilled mackerel. Okay, we can try that with someone. Apparently, lots of our islanders are seafood fans when we tried the oyster challenge. So, um, that's probably gonna go down well. What else? What's our third and final item? Please be an amazing outfit for everyone. It's a, it's a tomato. Okay, that's, that's not an outfit that we can, um, not an outfit that we can wear, really, is it? But hey, I can't really complain. I mean, someone could try wearing the tomato. It, it wouldn't work, but someone could try. <laughs> Wait a second. The evening market starts at five. Oh, it's because the clock's changed my ds hasn't changed yet oh that's that's awkward <laughs> so we've got an early sneak peek to the evening market so currently it's 4 p.m for me but on my ds yeah look it says five how weird now the real question is who do we give this amazing apartment to we're gonna give it to someone who doesn't have an apartment yet so taylor doesn't have one brock doesn't have one all of these guys don't have one who are we gonna choose i think we should choose someone who we haven't given much to before homer what are you doing buddy are you looking at yourself in the mirror oh that's kind of cool. I like that. Smiley's doing some hula. So they both, if they both have hula, do they both do it? That's cool. Oh, Gus is having a dream. Gus is having a dream. He's having a, a mid-afternoon nap. We need to try and find out what this is. It's a Minecraft dream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they stole my milk. They're, they're, they're worshipping milk. That, that's amazing. My milk. Every, almost every islander My is worshipping this milk. It's kind of My fascinating. Milk. Right, can we, um, do My we milk. get milk from this, please? Please, can we get some milk? We do! Yes! It doesn't make any sense, but you got some milk. Thanks, Ghast. Yeah. Is that Ghast milk? Gross. And he's gone straight back to sleep. Look at that, he's not even, oh, maybe not. He's rolling around. Perfect. <laughs> you know what? I am going to give it to fake Dan TDM because he gave us an okay surprise bag and I just think he will look amazing in an apartment that's made for a hamster. I think that'll look amazing. Oh, fake Dan TDM is thinking about trampolines. Okay, maybe we should try and give him one. But for now, we're going to give him a brand new outfit and you are going to absolutely love it. Here we go. Hamster costume for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. He is going to look amazing. A hamster with a mustache? Great. Oh, my goodness. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. Oh, this is great news. Great news. Not only are we making him look stupid, but he's having fun while doing it at the same time. Look, he looks like a completely different person. <laughs> Okay, let's top that off with the um the pet cage. <laughs> this is so good. There it is. <laughs> Thank you for the new room. It's pretty nice. <laughs> no problem. By the way, would you like to take a look around my new room? Yes, yes, I would. Right here we go. So there's your hamster wheel where you can get some exercise. Your bottle where you can get a drink if I decide to fill it up. It's food. You got tons of food. You can you can literally swim in that amount of food. Nice cage door, I like that. And a tube where you can have loads and loads of fun. And look at that house. It actually looks kind of comfortable, nice. buddy. You know what? I'm slightly jealous, but um, you look amazing. So cool. I'll take good care of it. I hope you will, buddy, because I ain't going to be clearing you out. <laughs> Here, have this as a reward. Oh, I liked it so much. He's given us a reward. Uh, a swing. Thanks so much for the swing. Do you, are you sure you don't want to put that up in your, um, your, your little apartment now? No, go for a run. Go on. If one day we look at him in his apartment and he's running in that wheel, I will lose it. Absolutely lose it. That would be amazing. Nope. He's sleeping. Whoa. Everyone sprung into action. Right. Uh, He's got a dream going on as well. Let me see what the dream is. He instantly fell asleep. He found the apartment that boring that he wanted to dream about it. Oh, this is a new one as well. What's going to happen? He's going to grab the... F is that a pepperoni? What even is that? Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> I got something. I got a straw hat. Okay. Fantastic. He got trapped by trying to get what I think was a piece of salami. I'm not too sure. Or a very, very red egg, maybe. Right. We got some games to play and friendships to form. Elsa, who do you want to be friends with? Let me see. We've really been out of touch. Dante DMs look alike. I know. I'm so, so sorry. Right. Let's see what's your problem. I want to be friends with Phoebe. Okay. I'll introduce you right now. What should I talk about to get along with her? Um, you should be real funny. Let's do this. Thanks for the advice. I'll go and talk to her. No problem. Get out of here. <laughs> 
Hey, keeping that 10 out of 10 record. I like it. I like it a lot. It went well. Well, fantastic. You got a new friend. That's awesome. Now. Thanks to you. No problem. So um, she's leveled up, which is great. We should... I don't even know. I think we should start donating money to people so that they could potentially go to the moon because apparently if you do reach, I think it's the 10 grand that they need, they do actually go to the moon. So um, you know what? Enjoy. Have 100 pounds. There you go. Enjoy it. There you go. Money. Money. Hey, there you go. Thank you. Now I just need 9,900 pounds more to take a trip into space. Yes, you do. That's a lot of money. Here, have this as a reward. Oh, thank you. What are you going to give me my money back? Oh, kid o -matic. What is that? I have the most fun when I am doing things for myself. It's a little bit selfish, not going to lie. Right, let's have a look at the kid o -matic. Uh, What does it do? What does it do? For grown-ups who want to be kids again and relive their youth. Right? Who wants to be a kid? This might be an incredible, incredible time for us. Um, What is that? Is that a cat? It is. Your cat looks very dead. <laughs> Who should we turn into a baby? Who should we turn into a baby? Oh, that's cute. Right, we don't want to turn anyone into a kid who's in a relationship because that is um way too weird. Wait. Does Treoris have a special someone? Look at that outfit. I completely forgot how amazing you looked. Wow. We've really been out of touch. Don't eat the ends look alike. I know, it's rare for us, buddy. Right, what's your problem? I'm starving. Oh, of course you are. Oh, I forgot to feed the previous person because I was distracted by all this age o -matic nonsense. Right, you're going to have some bacalao. And then we're going to give you the kid o -matic. There's the age o -matic, which makes kids older. But I want to give you... I want to give you the kid o -matic. You've leveled up. You're level 11. You're easily our highest one. Um, let's give you some pocket money as well. You're going to get um, £100 too. I mean, I'm feeling really generous today, buddy. There you go. I think I've given him some money before. Not 100% sure, have I? I have. I gave him £35 before. That was, um, that was a bit stingy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, he's going to give me a present as well. What's it going to be? It's a mobile. Okay, nice. You might need that, buddy, in a second. <laughs> I want to be friends with Misty forever. Oh, that's really nice. That's so nice, Treras. Look at all of these friends he's got. Oh, my goodness. Right, fairly trustworthy friend, Gemma. Right, I'm going to see what happens when we give him the kid o -matic. I'm a little bit worried. I don't know what's going to happen, but I kind of want to know. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Please oh, turn me into a kid again. Okay, I'm going to. It's going to happen. This is going to be interesting. It certainly is. Um... <laughs> oh, it's working. Look at the size of his head. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I'm a kid again. Thanks. No problem. This is going to be a blast. <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. Look at that outfit. That's amazing. Oh, he looks so cute as a kid. Look at him. <laughs> oh, jeez, Treoris. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I want that hat. Can we keep it? That's amazing. He's going to splash in puddles. Does this mean he stays as a kid for ages? I have no idea. Look at that. Getting all soggy in the puddle. How immature. How immature, buddy. <laughs> and now he's making a pillow fort. Oh, look at that. That is, that's a good pillow fort. Not gonna lie. How is that staying up, though? That's impressive. Ah, oh, he's so cute as a little baby. I really want to know Treoris as a baby. So cute. Thank you. I feel so young and carefree now. No problem. Is he staying that short? I think he is. He actually is. Yes, he's staying that small. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if that affects their friendships and stuff, but, um... Treyoris has just been turned into a tiny little child, which, um, which is perfect. <laughs> right, before this disappears, I want to go and see who Freddy wants to be friends with. I'm guessing it's not his cat, because he kind of is already friends with her. Oh, what a perfect match! Freddy and Voldemort. That's a good match. Yeah, just go straight in for that. He doesn't even want any advice. He's just going to go straight for it. And what we need to do in this episode is try and give out as many of the apartments as we can because a lot of people's rooms and stuff are looking really bare. They got some amazing outfits like Voldemort's here, but they don't have great apartments, so we need to improve that. Right. This has got to be a match made in heaven, surely. 
certainly is. That's what I like to see, buddy. Evil coming together to make even more evil. <laughs> we became friends because we really hit it off. Good, I like that. I wonder why, you evil beings. Yeah. Ah, oh, and a reward as well. See, you're not that evil. I'd say hair color spray. Nice. I would actually like to see your hair color change, buddy, because if your hair was pink, that would look great. Just saying. Being happy at work is all that matters. Yeah, I guess it is. Right. Uh, let's feed you something, shall we? Let's actually go for some hot chocolate because I feel like you might enjoy this. Like a lot, actually. Do you like it? He does. Nice. He really, really liked it. Does it fill up his stomach much at all, though? I, I didn't I didn't see. I think it filled up a little bit. Um, right. Uh, let's see if we got... Oh, no, he's got an interior. We don't want to do that. Let's see what gifts he can have. Let's give him a mirror because I've been giving the mirrors to everyone. And apparently, they change the outfits when they have them. So, eventually, they'll be chopping and changing outfits all over the place. Right. See you later, buddy. What are you thinking about? A dolphin. Great. <laughs> let's get out of here. Hey, he's using it already. Looking good, buddy. I like it. You have so many machines in here. I wish we could play them with you. That would be amazing. Right. Um, what were they going to do? I was going to gift out some apartments, but first, let's see what everyone's problems are. We should be able to finish these before the end of the video. Everyone's not wanting to play games anymore because I ignored them. I, didn't, I, didn't, I was trying to sort Potatoes. things out, buddy potatoes. Great. <laughs> I'd like a new hat. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's see what hats we've got in stock already. Got a cooking hat. I think Brock could um could could rock the cooking cap. A hat with ears, a straw hat or a top hat. Um have we got any other ones? We've got a wig, a mushroom hat, a pumpkin hat. Oh no! I completely forgot to give out my pumpkin stuff. I was saving it as well. Oh no, we've got an apple, cat ears and a triangle hair clip. I'm going to give you cat ears. Here we go. Oh, enjoy Misty. I think you're gonna look beautiful. A mermaid with cat ears. A fish and a cat mixed together. Oh, <laughs> she loves them. <laughs> she really, really loves it. Okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and you've leveled up. Loads of leveling up going on. We're making some good progress today. Enjoy your brand new beauty kit. I didn't mean to drop it on the floor. I'm so sorry. You might even be able to add like the nose and whiskers and stuff onto your face with the makeup. Maybe, right? What's the reward? A camera. The AR camera. I love that thing so much. I think it'd be great if everyone on this island became friends. I think they pretty much are. I'm not going to lie. I think they're doing pretty well. Right, you are going to eat yourself. Oh, I should have chosen the mackerel. A mermaid eating fish. Not sure if that's frowned upon in the mermaid community, but um, she really, really liked her cheeseburger. Top of the lights. Very nice. Taylor has been here for so long, and she still doesn't have an apartment. That, my friends, is outrageous. But it's okay. Let's see what our problem is. You're starving. Okay, so first off, let's see what apartments we've got. We've got Halloween, Monochrome, Pumpkin Patch, Retro, or Street. I think you're going to match the Monochrome. So I'm going to give you that first, and then I'm going to give you some food. So um, let's see what you think. That is nice. Thank you for the new room. It's got a good feel to it. Good. I'm glad you like it. And I will take a look around your room. So you've got pretty big TV, a nice big corner chair. Um, what's that over there? Is that like, yeah, what is that? It's like a chest of drawers and some shelves. Nice with some lamps, a door and comics and stuff. Very nice. I'm liking that. One of my favorite apartments so far. I'll take good care of it. Good. You better. And now I guess you are also hungry. So you're going to have the melanzane. I, I don't know how to say that. The um the thing that looks like a lasagna. You're going to have that. And you are going to enjoy it, apparently. She really, really liked it. Goes to the top of her likes as well. Nice. And almost, almost levels up. This makes me happy. Good. That's, that's a, actually a really good philosophy to live by. Right. What are you thinking about? Harambe! No! Why would you bring that up? I mean, everyone has Harambe on the mind at some point. Um, We, we can't help it. I know. It's a tragedy. A girl with a, a new radio celebrating her new apartment. Yes, this looks so much better. Wah. Wow. Wah. Why are you warring? Did I wake you up? I'm after a plain looking hat. A plain looking hat. Well, I might have the perfect one for you. Let's go for a straw hat and see if you enjoy this. It might actually match your outfit quite nicely. Yes. Oh, you, you don't like it? That's as plain as it gets. Oh, man, I'm upset. I wish I could forget some things. They are so embarrassing. Oh, tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more. Right, can we give her any other kind of apartment? Um, ooh, the retro one might suit her quite nicely. Let's give out this one. Zelda, 
enjoy your retro apartment matches her hat and her um and her outfit a little bit maybe we could have gone for a medieval one but um, let's take a look we've got a nice wooden door some paintings a is that a lava lamp it looks like a lava lamp we've got a big couch as well and a very strange shaped drawer and an egg seat everyone likes an egg seat I'll take good care of it. Good. I guess I should give you some food as well. Let's give you some roast beef and see if you like this. I think you will. And you might even level up if you like it. Yeah, she really, really liked it. Okay, so she should level up now. Perfect. I'm going to give you a dog voucher because I'm feeling extremely generous today. And it should match your brand new apartment. Get a fluffy dog for me. Hey, look. Look how cute that dog is. It's going crazy as well. Look at that. It's going absolutely nuts. That's awesome. And it does actually match her apartment nicely. Uh, right, we've got Toriel with a problem. We've also got Ghast with um, hiccups and a problem. And a couple games as well. Oh my goodness, Mr. Incredible, calm down. What is wrong with you? How did he move that fast? Right, let's see what Mr. Incredible should... Um, I can't even say it properly. Let's see what he wants to play. Maybe he wants to play something to do with his new statue. Who knows? Oh, maybe not. The Headwear Shadow Quiz. That's very specific. What's it? What's that? Oh, okay. That's not fair. It's not a hat with ears. It's not a ribbon. I think it's a shell. This is really testing my knowledge. Yeah, there we go. I can't even see it. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> it's testing our headwear knowledge. That That's extreme. That's really extreme. So this is definitely a star hair clip. Look, you can see that in the shape. Yes. Okay, what's the final one? This usually is the hardest. Oh. Oh, I think I've got this one. A garlic wig? I kind of want that. Hair bun covers or a color cap? It's got to be a cap. Come on. Yes. Nailed it. Okay, I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it was. And we should get a pretty good treasure for this. But which one should we choose? Let's go small. 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 We got a, a shell. Oh, look at that thing on the right. I don't know what it is, but I kind of wanted it. A conch. Is that the one you can hear the sea in? I'm pretty sure it is. I always pick myself up right after a fall. Good. That's a great choice. Oh, his best friend's Voldemort. That's awesome. He doesn't like Misty, Traoris, and does not like Elsa or Homer. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are getting some really, really nice relationships going now, which is awesome. And I think you are going to enjoy a gratin, definitely. Well, maybe not love. You, you're going to like it a little bit. <laughs> and he leveled up as well. Oh, man, I need to give out all these gifts today. Baseball bat. Has to be a baseball bat. Enjoy! Don't use it for anything bad. Just baseball, buddy. Brock wants to play a game. So let's see what let's game he wants to play in his hot dog outfit. Do we have an apartment that will match Brock? Not 100% sure. Oh, no, it's this. Where he plays mind games. I'm going to grab this one. Yes! The master of that game. Oh, man, Brock, you got absolutely destroyed. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I am going to pick the big one this time. A broomstick. No way. Oh, the engagement ring was on the left. Oh, that could have been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. What are you thinking about? I can get along with people any age. That's cool. Let's see what your relationships are like. You've got um, good relationships with Voldemort, Skeleton, and Dan TDM. And you don't like Mr. Incredible or Homer S. Right. Let's feed you some spaghetti carbonara, a personal favorite of mine as well. Do you enjoy it as well? You do. I like that. He likes that a lot. Very nice. That should go into his likes at number two. Doesn't like it as much as Chocolate Gatto, but that's understandable. Oh, we got some more games to play. So Jigglypuff. Oh my goodness, I forgot we gave you this room. <laughs> that's amazing. And then we got SpongeBob as well. Right, Gast, let's sort out your problem first. And I think I just sorted out your hiccups. You are welcome. I'm starving. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, I thought it was going to be more interesting that um, you are going to have a stuffed cabbage roll and it looks like we need some more dinners and stuff because we are running out our me's are extremely hungry all of the time and he actually really liked that stuffed cabbage roll i think that would be tasty more tasty than it sounds actually right what are you gonna say i hope that i'm doing well in your world um yeah you're doing all right i really like your antenna actually it's very cute um right let's see if there's anything we can give to him we've got halloween pumpkin patch or street it doesn't really match streets. Pumpkin patch, maybe. Halloween, maybe. I'm not too sure. I might need to buy some more um, apartments. Craig, are you going to wrestle Taylor? No, don't, don't do it. I thought he was running up for a special move then. That could have been embarrassing. <laughs> Please look inside my tummy. Uh, okay. What's inside? 
It's a nothing. It's it's empty, buddy. It it's it's really empty. There's nothing there. Nothing special is happening down there. Why are you trolling me like this, buddy? Why? You gave me three pounds for the privilege as well. You're crazy. I always hope I'm better best friend. Well, you are best friends with Taylor, and you've got a lot of other things going on as well. The only one person you're not a friend with is Fake Dan TDM, which I guess is understandable indeed. Right, we need to feed you some... Actually, let's go for Bacalao, because you haven't had that before. And then... I can't remember what I was going to do with you. I think I was going to give you an interior, but I love your wrestling outfit so much. I'm not going to do that. Right, we've got some more games. Jigglypuff wants to play. Voldemort desperately wants to play. I'm going to give him the Halloween apartment, actually, because I think he deserves it. And he's going to match it perfectly, especially in that outfit. Even though it's not October anymore, it still looks pretty spooky and cool. Right, Zoom quiz. This is where they really, really make it difficult. The first one. See, look, what is that? What is that? I don't think it's a coconut. I don't think it's a tin robot. I'm going to go polenta. The correct answer is... Please be a polenta. It is, I think. I don't even know what a polenta is. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what do you think it is? That's a mirror ball. I always know what a mirror ball is. You should get one for your apartment, Voldemort. That would look really nice. And your final zoom item. It's going to be... A. What do you think it is? Oh, stewed beef? Definitely not stewed beef. A custard slice or a plastic trophy. I think that's almost too green for a custard slice. I'm going plastic trophy. Please. Please. Yes. Oh, yes, I got it right. Oh, I'm so happy. Right. That's three treasures in one episode, which is pretty awesome. Voldemort, what are you going to give me? We've gone left. We've gone right. Let's go middle now. And we've got a rose. There was also a totem pole and a kite or a leaf. I don't know what that is. Awesome origami. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I like the feeling of achievement after trying really hard. Well, you are trying really hard to make that outfit look amazing. So here you go, buddy. Enjoy your brand new apartment. He 100% suits Thank that. That is so me. nice. That's it's one of my nice. favorites so far. That is awesome. So he's got some happy ghosts, a happy pumpkin ghost, some scary trees, some it's gravestones. I'm sure he's happy about that. Is that his door? That's nice. And then some more ghosts and some musical notes because he's so happy. That's awesome. Okay. I'm glad I gave that to him. Oh, another friendship could be forming. It's Phil. How you doing, buddy? I think Phil would suit the skate ramp. Unless there's a school one. I'm not too sure. I heard that Skeleton wants to be friends. Okay. Sounds great. Go ahead. Oh, no. Really? I see. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I misclicked. Sorry, Phil. I have to win at everything. Wow, that's competitive. Right, I think, you know what? I'm going to give him a... Uh, wait, was he... He was wearing the hat before. He was wearing the sideways cap, but he's taking it off. Who do you think you are? He's got the mirror, though. So I think that's why. Um, stop pulling faces now. <laughs> so you know what? If I give him the street apartment and then give him back his hat so he puts it back on... He should look a pretty amazing in this apartment. That looks so cool. That really does. He's got a BMX, a skateboard, some graffiti cans, a, um, a system to play all his music. Those skateboards seem huge, don't they, buddy? You're not going to fit on one of those. That looks nice, though. I like that a lot. And now all you need is to change back into your real nice hat. So he definitely has one. There he goes. Look, jaunty cap. How dare you take it off? <laughs> He's changing. There we go. Much better. Looking good, buddy. Right, let's feed you something, shall we? We're going to go for Rizzole. We definitely need some more foods. And I keep throwing stuff on the floor. That's so rude of me. I'm sorry. He really, really liked it. It looks like all of his likes before the Rizzole were in bowls. So he liked bold food before. <laughs> and he's also leveled up. Can we give him anything he can use in his brand new skate park? Anything you can ride in here? We've got a uh, skateboard. Perfect. Oh, he is fully, fully kitted out for this skate park now. That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, did Jigglypuff sneeze then? I think Jigglypuff's got a cold. Oh. Something warm would be great. You want some new clothes. Okay. Uh, do we have anything to give you? A Bavarian outfit. I don't think you're going to want any of those. So let's see what is nice and warm for her, shall we? So let's go for something jumpery because it is kind of wintry. None of these match you, Jigglypuff. I'm sorry. Baggy t-shirts. Um, you know what? We could get you to make your own clothes because these look awful. The poncho isn't bad. 
But I think you can make something even better. Right, I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna give you the sewing machine. So I'm pretty sure we still got one of those. Yes, we do. Right, make yourself some clothes. Because I can't find some in the shops that will suit you. So here we go. She's gonna make something real trendy. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Jigglypuff, it's winter. You, you don't want to keep cool. You want to you want to stay warm. I guess, yeah. You want to stay nice and warm. Remember, it's winter. Don't be too crazy here. Oh, my goodness. She made a bath towel. She made a bath towel. You just said don't... You just said to yourself, don't show too much ankle. And look what you've done. <laughs> I made something truly wonderful. Yes. Uh, yes, you did. <laughs> Can we change you into it now? Please? Here we go. This is what you wanted. I challenged you to make yourself something warm and... They're... Oh my goodness. Yes! She loves it. <laughs> oh, she leveled up as well. This is great. I love these me so much. <laughs> and you know what? Enjoy some yoga while you also enjoy your towel. I think you're going to have some great fun. What else are you going to say? You must have had a long day. Yeah, pretty long day. Um, you must have had a long day doing all of those, uh, that sewing and stuff. Right, my final bacalao. I hope you enjoy it because you've got an empty stomach. You think, I think you'll enjoy most things. She liked it a little. It's not going to go on a like, so is it? It is. I guess it's because there's an empty space there. Um, she has no relationships. Jigglypuff, get out there. Uh, Toriel. Sorry, what, what have I told you about farting in your apartment? Just just leave it for when I'm not looking, okay? Yeah, I'd like to have a disposable camera. Oh, would you? Oh, would you? Do I have one, though? I do. I have three. Okay, right. Take it away. What kind of photo would you like me to take? Um, you are gonna make... Oh, do I want her to take an arty photo or a photo of someone else? I'm gonna do a photo of someone else. Got it. I'm going to get snapping. Okay, this better be good. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, she's doing it. What did you take? I got this. Let me have a look. Who is it? Who did she choose? It's Misty and a rat. <laughs> How ironic because she's wearing cat ears. That's nice. Save that. Good job, Toriel. I like that. The title is Strange Happenings. Is it? That's a good title. Um, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a solid. A solid 8 out of 10. It's not quite perfect. Well, I guess it isn't perfect. Exactly, but it is good. Very good. Oh, I get a reward as well. What is it going to be? Some more cold medicine. I think we've only had one me that's ever had a cold, and it hasn't been you, which is good. I'm not really into people who are too good at talking. Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, let's give you some food, and we've only got grilled mackerel left, which looks quite tasty, to be fair, so I hope you enjoy it. A little bit. Okay, I guess you do prefer pie, which makes complete sense, and you've leveled up as well. Um, I'm gonna give you some pocket money because we have been given a lot of money in today's video. So there you go. Enjoy it. Seeing as you're here, let's play. Okay, she wants to play a game. Oh, it's catch. What are you gonna get me to catch? Is that a yo-yo? Here it comes. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, first time. I'm getting so much better at this game. I've got a yo-yo. That's cool. Thank you so much. Give me the yo-yo. Give me the yo-yo. Thank you. Oh, cool spinning toy. Can you not call it a yo-yo? Really? Guys, Santa's having a dream. Let's see what is in his brain box. Oh, no way. So that wasn't a specific milk dream. They chose milk just for me. Am I going to get a bamboo clothes box for this one? Let's have a look. We actually are. Um, somehow you picked up a bamboo clothes box. Awesome. <laughs> Those are the things that have all the goodies in and the treasures at the end of games. That's so weird. Check out my impression of Harry. Okay, let's see. Listen, here we go. Hello, I'm Harry. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. How was that? Was it convincing? It was, it was, um, it, w it was great. You know what it was. I thought I was pretty good myself, too. <laughs> I was born to rule the whole world. You know what? In that outfit, you definitely could, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry I can't give you any food because I don't have any. I would like to eat something sour. Sour? You want to eat something sour? Like, like what? Uh, well, I do have food. I lied. I do have food, but I don't know what would be sour out of this. Tofu, tomato, none of that stuff. Apple pie, candy floss, gato. 
I don't think I have anything sour. Like, at all. Maybe a grapefruit? You know what? Let's try a grapefruit. I mean, how, could it hurt? Probably not. Let's, let's just don't squirt it in your eyes, as the little text said. Okay, she really, really liked it. Maybe it wasn't sour, but it was exactly what she wanted at the time, which is perfect. And now she has leveled up as well. Let's give her a mirror because um, she has the whole thing about appearance in The Little Mermaid. So it's kind of ironic. And she's wearing an awful t-shirt. So hopefully she'll change out of that soon. <laughs> and there's that grapefruit inside your stomach. <laughs> oh, there's a word chain tournament in progress. Let's see what's happening here. Is it like a rap battle? Magikarp General versus Misty. General word association. Here we go. Sounds good. Spoon. Uh. Smooth salmon. What is going on here? Miss console. Expensive looking bars. What? Engagement ring. Are they supposed to be to do with each other? Grilled mackerel. Lantern. I don't get it. I really don't get it, guys. Apple juice. I'm just gonna slowly leave. I don't think anyone's ever gonna win that because they don't even know the rules, I'm pretty sure. Right, before we end out this video, Welcome. let's head over to the pawn shop where apparently Two Face works and find out how much the stuff we collected today is worth. We've got a bamboo clothes box for £10. What else did we get today? We got a broom for £3. Not too bad. The bus is still worth 500 So if we're in desperate times, we can sell this bad boy or we can ask the Mies. The conch is 80 that's not bad. Microchip is 10. That's, um, I thought that would be worth more. The rose is worth 10 as well. So the rose is worth the same amount as the, um, the microchip. We have a lot of stuff here. We could sell all of this and make so much money, but I want to try and collect one of each. Now, if I go, I think it's into here and then into my office. Okay, maybe not my office. There's a way to be able to see all of the stuff that you've collected and see how much of the stuff you've got left to collect, but... I can't remember how to access it. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to end today's episode of Tomodachi Life. Look at Homer doing that dance move. Amazing. Is, is that a dance move or is that him trying to uh, destroy someone like punch a ghost? I'm not too sure. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me again. Again, sorry so much for there being a massive delay in this series. I still love it as much as you guys do. So um, don't worry, the series will not end. And I'm definitely going to be playing more between now and the next episode because I asked you guys in the previous episode... If you wanted to see that, and you guys said yes, so I will. And hopefully we'll get some marriage, some kids, and all that good stuff later on. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, see you next